Hey everybody, I want to recommend a great guide that can help you turn this into this. Whoa, whoa, wrong way. That into this. Learn the mistakes of the pros, get into the wholesale business correctly, and learn from those that have already done it. Stay tuned. So anyone who wants to buy merchandise and resell it, and it could be any platform, you could sell it uh, Facebook, you could sell it eBay, Amazon. Uh, if you've ever had questions about where to find that product and what to do with it and how to sell it and not pay a ton of money and do a ton of work so you're only making five or $10 profit off everything. So going through my box, <clears throat> it's one of my top items. I bet the farm on this one, it said it was returns and it said it was uh, would, would be good items. Let's check it out. Oh man, look at this. It said it's worth 50 bucks. Um, look, it looks brand new. But, uh oh, it's busted. I didn't plan on the rest of my box not being worth anything. If you want to understand and learn where to buy pallets and wholesale merchandise and not pay through your nose, then I have a guide that I can recommend that has all the answers. Not only it has the answers to uh, how to buy and sell, but it also has a contact list that you can use to find tons of merchandise from all the big name boxes from Target, you know, Walmart, Costco, uh, just to name a few. There's a ton. so. I'm going to have a link down below. If you want to uh, follow the link, you can uh, learn a little more about the book. Another thing I'd like to say is if you're looking to uh, join a group that has a ton of knowledge that can complement the book you're about to read, uh, click on the link here or maybe over here. Uh, a Facebook group that has uh, the person that wrote the book, Rob Sear, who I recommend if you have any type of questions, not only read the book, but follow the group and they will help you uh, learn what you need to know in order to buy and resell while at the same time making a profit. I just found this website just by chance. I'm gonna start bidding on it and I haven't done any research. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna come into the auction and I'm gonna look at the manifest. I have no idea what this means. I mean, retail, so you're saying I can make $700 off the first three items. So this is a winner and it's only going for 250. Man, I'm going to bid on this all day. So if you've, if you're currently selling stuff and uh, you're making, you know, onesie twosie items from around your house, and you've been looking online to understand where to find this stuff, uh, this book, will, this guide will help you find it. It will help you find it for the right price. Uh, you'll come to understand different terms. So if I'm gonna buy, you gotta know what you're buying on these sites and through these people, and the contacts will help you learn the stuff, but if you think about shelf pulls, you'll have shelf pulls, you have brand new merchandise, you have returns. A lot of people jump into this uh, buy items or pallets and don't understand what they're buying and then they're upset That they didn't get what they thought they were getting Going through my wholesale lot. I got this nice eyeglassware. It's worth about 200 bucks Man, I can't wait to resell this stuff It's got a nice case Looks brand new to me What no glasses? Oh my, just lost a ton of money. And then what happens is they never go back into it and then it's been a bad experience and they're done. So this book will help you avoid that mistake. It will help you understand what you're buying, where to look for it, and what price that you think that you should be able to make back. So that's kind of where it will help. There's a lot of uh, different things you could buy, you know, electronics, clothes, tools. Um, all these sources are in the book, so click, click the link below and it will tell you the sources where you can go and how to get it.
This was the top rated item on my manifest. It said it was worth $300. I only got five bucks for it. What happened? The other thing you want to avoid is when you're going through websites or other sources that have, haven't been vetted, you are probably paying a huge markup. So not only are you paying a huge markup on those, these things, but you're also probably not going to get the items that you think you're going to get because they've already been cherry picked. So this guide will, would eliminate a lot of the middleman and it will let you know how and what to buy. But there's two things you got to watch for. One, you still got to do your homework. You got to understand what you're doing, who you're getting it from, and what it is. So this guide will help give you the ability to do your homework and uh, do it efficiently. This book is not just a list of your suppliers. So you're going to have to read the book and do your homework within the contents of it to be able to use these contacts in the book effectively. It will give you the ammo necessary to use the suppliers in the most effective manner and get the product that you want to get. So as you can see, I'm in the process of growing my inventory. Now if I want to get into the game of the pallets and the larger uh, inventory items to grow, this is where I'm going to use this book in order to source the right stuff and get what I'm looking for. So my, I like to do tools and electronics. So you can see all my items here and I kind of try to organize it. But I'm hoping that the guide that I've done my homework with, now I'm going to start sourcing based on the suppliers in the back and uh, use do the homework and get what I need. So little by little, we'll get there. Nothing's big bang, it won't work. Do your homework and get it done right. Hey everybody, pretty pumped. Just spent about $500 on my uh, auction I bought. One of my wholesale websites. Supposedly they are brand new iPhone cases that I can use to resell. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness, this is not what I thought it was. I mean, who's ever heard of this stuff? Really? I swore I went through the whole manifest and I knew what I was doing.